Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing a first impression on the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. So this is what the packaging looks like of the Faux Filter Foundation. So I got the shade Mocha 500G for golden because I do have um, more golden undertones. So this is what the bottle looks like. It looks really, really nice. The packaging is really stunning actually it's also like kind of ombre fr like frosted down here and then it gets really um, transparent and is a light rich with golden undertone that's a description of the color um, mocha so I'm excited to try this out and let's see what it does I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand like here this is what it looks like so it's pretty thick it's definitely not too watery which i typically like all right so i did already dampen my beauty blender so i'm just going to take some foundation and i'm going to start on my forehead with the color so the color look the match looks really really good it looks pretty uh nice up here so the color looks really nice the coverage is really really good also it smells like it's it has a it does have a scent to it so it reminds me of kind of like um like I don't know this smell it's so familiar but I can't tell you what it is it smells like a perfume that I know and thankfully I like the smell <laughs> but um it's pretty strong so if you don't like the smell then it will probably bother you but let's just see how long it lasts because a lot of times these smells tend to go away after like a minute or so. So I did pick this up in Sephora store in uh, Times Square or no 42nd Street and Madison Avenue. Um, basically um, the pictures online are kind of deceiving because there, there's a lot of pictures I saw floating around with there not being a big shade range but there is a pretty good shade range you guys like it's really really good actually all right so as you can see I did apply the foundation all over my face it looks stunning it looks like it looks so good I am actually really impressed with this foundation I think it looks really really good I think it's a pretty good match I'm not sure if it's gonna oxidize on me um, but so far the match looks really good I'm gonna show my face off camera just to make this video not too long and I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys about like what I think about the way it feels the way it looks and that sort of thing so yeah I'll be right back hey guys so I finished my entire face as I normally would and I really like the foundation I mean what do you guys think it does look pretty flawless it does look really really nice and beautiful what do you think I think it's a pretty good match as well um, yeah, so I'm going to read you guys what it says on the website for the um, description. So basically, the coverage is supposed to be medium. I do think it's a very, very strong medium coverage. Almost full, to be honest. Like, it covered pretty nicely. And I would say this is pretty much like a strong, medium, almost full coverage foundation. Probably like a little full. In terms of the skin types, it's said to be for dry combination and oily skin. Now, it's very tricky to be for all three skin types. Most of the time, things tend to work better for certain skin types than others. I do have combination oily skin. So, I will be doing a wear test where I wear this out throughout the day. And I'll either film that or I'm going to update you guys in this video's description box so you know what I thought throughout the day. So the finish is supposed to be natural. It is pretty natural, but I do think it's kind of like full face beat type of finish. I don't know if it's like the most natural looking foundation ever. Like it looks like you got a full beat on. Like I feel like it looks flawless. I don't know if natural is the right word, but it does look really I guess natural in terms of it's not radiant yes it's not radiant and it's not really um it's not really matte either so it is a velvety smooth finish that delivers full coverage and airbrush finish to second for a second skin look so here it says it's full coverage which i do agree with i think it is pretty much a full coverage foundation above it says it's medium here it says, it says it's full 
Um, I would I would personally call this a full coverage foundation, but I can see where some people would say, oh, it's not like the most full ever, so it's like a high medium. So an airbrush finish, and it does look like second skin, but it's like flawless second skin. It's not like just like, you know, like BB cream, the second skin. So it's packed with ultra refined pigments that visually diminish the appearance of blemishes, conceal hyperpigmentation, smooth skin, and blur imperfections. I agree with all of those claims because my skin looks really nice and flawless. I'm just shining light on my face. My skin looks super nice and flawless. I don't know if you guys can see that. But yeah, it looks really, really nice. It does cover so well like the hyperpigmentation that i have is completely covered and i noticed while i was on the train ride home that it does have some glitter like gold reflex in it it's going to give you this like beautiful glow you know i love that range includes perfect color for every skin tone and ethnicity found a huda katan devoted two years to developing a broad color spectrum ranging from fair to beige to olive to rich shades and everything in between so the color range is there it's really really big i went to sephora and i saw it in person i think it's a pretty decent size color range i think i said everything that i wanted to about this foundation um yeah so far i like it i will i'll let you guys let you guys know what i think throughout the day but typically i can kind of tell like from the go how i'm gonna feel about foundation and I still feel like it looks really good. I still feel like it It feels nice on my skin. It sits really well. The smell is kind of going away. Like it's definitely not as strong as it was when I first applied it. So I think the smell will be away within the hour. The only downside to this foundation I would say was the smell. But it's actually going away. So I think it's fine. And it smells good to me at least. So <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you're going to get this foundation. Let me know if you've tried it, what your thoughts are. Comment below. And I'll see you in the next video. Love you.